Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Spiny Woods is up next with two exits. That's why it's the Spiny Woods. Spinies are going to be plopping out at you from everywhere. So, oh, oopsie. So get your spin jump ready to bounce off them because that's probably going to be your only salvation from the doom that awaits you. And I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do that. Oh, I thought I could like throw it upward at a slight angle and be able to hit him, but no, nope, that didn't work. You, they, da, mm, da, don't. The bob, the bob bombs are kind of. Did no, did no coin come out of this box? I, <laughs> and anyway, the the bob bombs are sort of unpredictable in how they move because they can. They don't necessarily like go right at. Oh shoot, go right after you or anything like that. It's, it's kind of hard to describe, so the bombs are yet another sort of random number generator thing. And again, did nothing come out of that box? Is something going on with the boxes? <laughs> I don't know. Possibly. Man, it's a lot easier if you just rush this. Wow. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think because the spinies can keep generating, uh, I should say, can, yeah, keep generating by the Lakitu's, it might be wiser to just keep moving forward. Sound good? Good, okay. So I'm going to do just that, and this is working incredibly well. <laughs> like, really, really well. Yeah, wow, midpoint. Okay, I don't remember what the secret exit is. If it's based off of the Forest of Illusion level that I'm thinking it's based off of, it's probably near the end. Oh, and also, if you keep kicking around the bombs for a while, um, they won't explode. Like, if you were to hit one and then it's going to explode, if you kick it by just running into it, it won't explode for some reason. And Lakitu is gone! Yeah! And there we go! <laughs> wow, that level is so, so much easier if you just keep running forward. But now I'm gonna have to be checking pipes. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's not gonna lead to the castle. Of course, you gotta find the secret exit to get to the castle. It's the magical forest based off of the Forest of Illusion, of course. So yeah, that's how it ran in the original game as well. Yeah, I think fireballs actually would be pretty dang handy in this level for the spinies, yeah. So I'm gonna do that. I mean, yeah, the cape is fine, but it's not... Ooh, hello. It doesn't quite have that range that the fireballs have. Ah. Huh. Is this just for coins? Hold on, I wanna... This is clearly based off of that other block area. Uh, you know, where you uh, hit the blocks and it's kind of luck-based. Well, okay, it's very luck-based. <laughs> in that you hit them and you hope that you're going to get them in the correct order to get a 1-up on each of those tiers. Yeah, that's... Okay. Just for coins. And... Leads right out. Wait, is this the... Hold on. Is this the... It is. Does that mean I can get, like, unlimited coins? Wow, I can. <laughs> that's that's a pretty simple way to get lives. I mean, it's not that dangerous to get back in that pipe, like by any means. But yeah, <laughs> I wonder if that was just an oversight or if that was purposeful. Bloop. Anyway, move it, move it. I gotta check pipes. Gotta clear the way in order for me to be able to check pipes smoothly. Oh yeah. Get it, stop it, stop it, no, uh-uh, not going to happen. Hopefully I don't have to hit one of these blocks on the side of the Koopa shell or something, because that would really suck. Because <laughs> it's, it's kind of tricky to get the hang of throwing a Koopa shell precisely. It bounced me! It bounced me! <laughs> Why? Why would you do that to me, blocks? I guess that's what those blocks' properties were before, and I just never noticed because I didn't really hit them like that. 
Oh, he just... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, he just ran... Shoot, into them off to the side. Where's the cape? Cape, cape, cape. There you go. Good, good. <laughs> eh. Oh, 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 something. 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 Oh, do I actually need a cape to get in here? It looks like it. Oh, boy. <laughs> this... This could be something! <laughs> yeah, spin spin jumping into blocks like that can be a little bit finicky, but might be your only hope into getting through them unscathed. Because <laughs> as you can tell, down is death. And you always do it when you're jumping up towards them too, by the way. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot! Okay, okay. Secret exit! Yeah! And now for the castle. This castle, though, is pretty mean, if I remember correctly. The Peace Switched Castle. And as you know, it's got two exits because all castles in this game have two exits. First, you've got the springy things. Yep, the green springy things. Oh, shoot. You gotta love the green springy things. You've also got. Oops. That's why I don't like the green springy thing. Because <laughs> you, you just don't know if you're going to be able to jump off them or not consistently. And yeah. So yeah, we got the green springy thing. We got spikes that jiggle on the ceiling. You got to look out for as well. So it's uh, got to have your eyes everywhere on the screen. Oh, glad that one fell ahead before I got over there. Does that one go upwards? Oh, it does. That is pretty mean. Uh, whenever you see ones that go, oh, whenever you see ones that go um, in both directions, it just alternates directions. Like it first goes horizontally, then it goes vertically. So you've gotta sometimes watch them to make sure it's not going to go vertically before you jump into said things. And yeah, because it could cause you ire. And while it, oh, this castle is a lot easier when you run through it, but although maybe I should go back and get a cape, I'm kind of tempted to do that. Like maybe in here, just because it's closer than the um, top secret area. I'm getting oops, <laughs> I'm getting really lazy here. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure what I can do is uh, um, just you know rush on ahead, just go over here. Really? <laughs> Maybe it is better for me to go to the top secret area, because I'm losing a lot of lives just going back to the spiny woods for a cape, or some power-up, just to make myself safe. Okay, mushroom, and then I start select, and I repeat until I get the prizes I desire, basically. It only contains fire flowers, so... Yeah, I'll just take that and run with it rather than going back and get a cape, I suppose. Just to see how things go. But yeah, let's try and run through it like before, because that, that... Springy things. Because that seemed pretty successful. Just as long as I jump on the left side of those double springs and not the right side of them. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. <laughs> oh, there's spikes up there, isn't there? Of course there are. Why wouldn't there be? <laughs> well, I'm over here. I didn't make it unscathed, that's for sure. It's gonna be vertical or horizontal? It's gonna be all horizontal, right? Yeah, okay. Just gotta be sure. Also, it looks like the, the spikes that fall uh, have like a reversed shading as well. So that's another hint as to what the spikes are going to do. Oh boy. <laughs> I think you see where this is going. Yeah, this is why it's the peace switched castle. Because you have to get through obstacles that are sort of like puzzles in a way. Uh, but you also gotta wait at some points. And you also gotta time yourself at other points. Yes, and you also gotta run at some points. Uh, midpoint, alright. Now, past the halfway point here is where things start getting really dicey. Because... Get ready. Hit this like last second. Because you got a lot of springboarding to do and it's going to combine auto-scroll pressure with the green springy things. 
Yeah, that's not going to be a very fun. <laughs> well, maybe it will be to you as a viewer, but as a player, you will probably hate the green springy things. <laughs> There's a lot of springs in this castle as well, so it's like a spring and peace witch castle. And, oh shoot, yeah, I gotta do that. E. I hope I don't need that shell for something. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. This castle isn't as hard as I remember it, but then again, I've gotten a lot better at Super Mario World than I used to be. Yeah, yes, 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 but there's more. Oh, there's more. <laughs> this is, this is probably the hardest part of the castle. Ooh. Just watch for saws. They somehow have a mind of their own. They pop in at the most inopportune times. Oh, don't hit your ceiling on the little edge. Oh, cape. Oh, cape. Oh, I love you. Don't hit that bottom block. You'll be. You'll regret it. <laughs> It'll. It's a spin block, and what'll happen is that you won't have enough time to grab the piece switch then, unless you have enough speed, and uh, you probably won't because timing. I mean, it's not, I mean, time is not on your side there with how much space you have to get up there. Right? And same with this block, really. Um, don't hit the bottom one, just hit the top one. And careful. Oh, it's gonna bounce back, okay. <laughs> Always hit the P switches at uh, the last possible second, too, if you can help it. Okay. Is that? Okay, I thought that was going to be a block I was going to land on that was a coin. I mean, it was, it was going to turn back into a coin, excuse me, but no, it's, it's safe. Alright, so I guess maybe it, this isn't the thing that had the green springy things like I thought it had. Huh. Well, that was actually pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, whenever you see this sort of boss, uh, you just jump at it quickly before it goes up the walls and causes you issues. Yeah. <laughs> But, 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 there's a secret exit. <laughs> First, cutscene. Uh oh. No, Mario, don't do it, it's a trap. Don't check it. Check. Oh, he didn't listen to me. Now, with Roy Koopa defeated, the forest doesn't seem that mysterious anymore. Next up on Mario's journey is the Rhino Jungle, which will lead to the dangerous. Koopa Deserts. Okie dokie. <laughs> and this will lead to... Choco Mountain. No, Koopa Desert. <laughs> Let's go back up. LR back into the castle. And see if we can get the secret exit. I think the secret exit was um, right up... Oh shoot, right up the path um, near the beginning. So if I lose my cape, I'm gonna have to go back to the uh, top secret area, and yeah, it's what it's a shoot. Well, I'm gonna show you where I think it is at least. Um, uh, wait, I thought oh shoot, <laughs> where was it? I thought it was maybe I don't know. Again, maybe I'm thinking of something else. Hmm. 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 Or maybe the secret exit was down below and I was thinking of some other level. I mean, oops, I thought this was the level with the green springy things in auto scroll. so... Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna go get myself some capes just for the sake of safety. And we're back in, fully caped and raring to go. Well, if the ceiling has entirely spikes and it definitely isn't where I thought it was. So, maybe I'm thinking of some other castle, as I said before, so... Yeah, I'll shoot. That's not good! <laughs> oh, I should have touched the spikes and then jumped off of them. Yeah, while well, I was invincible. Well, that's bad reaction time, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, maybe it has to do with a P-Switch, since, you know, it's a P-Switch castle. <laughs> uh, I just don't really rem maybe uh like over here you can take the p switch back 
um, from this spot right here, maybe that's where it is. Is like if I were to take it back to here and then run for. Oh, I was gonna say run for it to see if there's something moving back, but I guess that's it. Yeah, I don't remember that. Just so I would try it anywhere, but anyway. Oh, that's a dangerous portal to get in. <laughs> That was a quick teleportation cutscene. And it leads to yet another one of those special portals, which I'm still not going to show you. <laughs> and to further my evil laugh, I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.